Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Today's one's a new razor. I haven't used a new DE razor for a while and it came all the way from Russia. And you will have seen it being used before by Kevy Shaves and others. It is the Calibri razor from Home Like Shaving and Calibri is the Russian word I believe for hummingbird. So let's jump over to the unboxing and have a little look at it and then we'll come back. Okay, so here we are for the sort of unboxing part of it. We'll have a little look at the razor itself. Now the box is quite a nice looking box. It's nothing too flashy. It sort of does exactly what it needs to. Now these razors obviously come from Russia. They're made by a company called Homelike. And this one is called the Calibri or the Hummingbird. Now this, is, this was sent, I think, three months ago from Russia. And that's how long it took through COVID to actually leave Russia and arrive at my door, which is today, the 6th of November. So let's break into it. Got my little knife here. Hopefully, do this without damaging the box. So I'm looking forward to this. I haven't used a new DE razor for quite a while. In Australia, we have now got the Gillettes, you know, the sort of cheap ones that they make for Walmart or Walgreens or whatever it is. We've got them over here now, but I haven't purchased one. They're like 30 bucks for a. I just find them a bit cheap and nasty, really. Maybe I'm just getting too posh for this. So here we go. Nice little magnetic latch, opens it up. Some protection and there is uh, plates all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> the first time I've opened this, I had absolutely no idea what to expect when I got in there. So hopefully we're not too much damage on these plates. It doesn't hold the plates very, very tight. They just slot back in there. It's a bit wonky as well. And here we go. There's the razor. Nice little bit of A ribbon to hold the razor so you can pull it out and there we have this is a stainless steel razor made in Russia nice profile head on there as well nice low profile Let's see what the thread feels like it feels smooth ish it's definitely not carved smooth there's the top cap and the base plate and the base plate that comes on the razor is to the right way up 0 0.8 gap now that's what I'll be using today and you'll know that because I've already told you but I'll be using that today just to have a look at it see how it goes but by all accounts it looks very very nice now obviously there's, there's three other plates in here which have got all different gaps 1.5 1.3 and 1.1 It's a very nice razor. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. I thought this might have been just a little, it looked quite chunky and heavy. Now I can tell you one thing straight off the bat, this knurling is very very grippy. Like that's way grippier than the carved knurling. I don't know, can we get that to focus on that? Let's have a look. Come on. Is it trying to, I think it's trying to focus on the box. So that knurling there is super, super grippy. The end of it reminds a little bit of the halo handle from Razor Rock. And the head itself does actually remind me a little bit of the Game Changer. Now I haven't used the Game Changer, but that's what it looks like. And anyway, let's get back to the shave. I'm back. So you've had a little look at the Razor now. There it is there. You've just seen it, but here it is in the bathroom. Now, the soap for today, I don't know why I wanted to use this, but I just did. Barrister and Man Diamond, one of my favourite scents. The wife hates it. In fact, everyone I know hates it <laughs> in terms of the commitment to the house. But I just love it. It's a real sort of sweet, grassy, it's got popcorn, beer, all that sort of stuff through it. It's a really nice scent. I enjoy it. And it does remind me a lot of being at match football matches back in the UK. Not so much baseball, although I did go to a baseball game in Toronto to watch the Blue Jays last year. Right, I've had the soap soaking as well. Yeah, it's a great scent. The, probably the most, other than the grass scent, the most predominant note in there for me is popcorn. I do get that quite strongly. Right, the brush of choice is my Strike Gold Shave 25mm Rhodium Knot. Made by Sir, or the knot was made by Sir John in the Australian Capital Territory. 
the handle was turned by Matt Martin over in the States and it is sold and made for Strike Gold Shave Company. This soap's quite old now but it still smells brilliant. Like the scent strength hasn't died on it whatsoever, it's still a great scent strength. Right, I think that should be enough. Now from memory, this is the Glissant base. Now, if you if you followed Barrister the Man for the last sort of four years or so, which I have, I've always enjoyed the products, I've tried all the I think I've tried all the soap offerings other than the soft heart base. Excelsior is probably the best that I've used from Barrister and Man. The reserve base is probably the worst I've used. In fact, I still highly regard. I can't even remember the name of it now. What was it called? Lather. The Lather range, which was really cheap but performed like a top tier soap. And I was very surprised when Will discontinued it because I thought. It was an excellent product, but obviously cost-wise, you may not have been making enough money from it, or it was just too expensive to make something and sell it at that price anymore. I'm not sure. I haven't used this scent for a long time. Find if I just darken the room behind me, the camera seems to focus a lot better. So I've just been to see the doctor today, and it's the 6th of November, and basically we've worked out that by the 20th of November I will be going in there to be or have my paperwork for my fitness to return to work forms filled in. And hopefully, fingers crossed, in 14 days from now, I will be going back to work, or at least sign back on, to the point where I can retrain and things. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a long, long, long 14 months. September 13, 2019, when I broke my arm. We're now on the 6th of November 2020. And what a year it's been for everyone, not just me. It looks like the United States are going to have a new president. If it's already been called out, <laughs> I don't really watch the news, I don't listen to the news. It's just by chance I'll hear it on the radio and stuff like that. But I think Biden was in front by quite a way as of yesterday or late last night in Australia. So it's looking likely he'll be the new president. I don't really, you know, I'm not a political guy, so I'm not, don't bother me at all. And to be fair, America doesn't really have any bearing on my life in Australia. They, they probably do politically, but they don't really have any say in what I do, so, which I'm glad about. I think our local governments over here and our main government did really well through Covid. Did better than most. Western Australia, which is the state I live in, were probably and still are one of the best in the world for isolating and containing the virus when it got here and keeping people relatively safe. Well, I think, I'm not sure how many deaths we've had now relating to Covid, but it's Less than 20, I think. Just going to dip the tips.
you can't grumble at that. It's a little bit airy, but it's still a fantastic lather. And the brush is chock a block. Right, onto the raisin. Now I haven't loaded it yet. I will load it on camera right now. I'm just going to clean that box off. I'll just show you that again. The box has got a nice little magnetic catch, pops open, and then you've got all your bits and bobs in there. Now I was very lucky to try the start razor before, which was Home Light Shaving's first razor, and it was an excellent shaver, very smooth, very comfortable. This one, however, is their latest offering. Very similar to the start razor in terms of how it works, you get four plates with it, but the higher blade gaps, this one is 0.8. So, as you can probably see there, just on this part of the cap. So, we'll unscrew it. You can just hear that noise there. It's, a, it's, a, it's not as smooth as a car, but it really isn't. Right, Paul Silver Super Iridium Blade is popping in there, so I'll take the top cap off. There is the top cap. Now, the finish on the top cap is nice, it's not quite finished, but it's on the inside, so who cares? The actual polishing on the razor is a very high quality polish. Now, there is a little bit. Can you see that wiggle there? Just at the top with this finger, you'll see it wiggling up and down. A little bit of wiggle, not that that matters, but there is a bit of wiggle. I think when you put it in here, it should lock it pretty tight here. Yeah. So that's the base plate on there now. Screw it up. I don't use washers, not interesting. Now, one thing I did notice, I didn't I didn't watch all of Kevy Shea's video, but I did notice that these end caps stick out for miles. So it's something to bear in mind, it doesn't generally bother me too much, I don't really have any issues with that. But, I mean that is, that's quite a lot of tabs hanging out at the end there. But here we go, first strokes with the uh, Home Light Shaving Calibri. With a brand new Paul Silver Super Iridium. I can tell you right now, it's way, way more aggressive than the A-plate on the calf. Oh, it feels very smooth. I've got two days growth. Back on this is really loud. You're probably not hearing it, but it is really, really loud. It's quite significant. It actually almost feels like bleed chat. I don't know if I don't know if it is or not, but it feels like it. It even sounds a little bit like, it's almost like a rasping sound. However, first pass down and it blew through the air. I didn't feel like I went over any parts too often. Yeah. Good old barrister and mango salt. This stuff's really slick. And it smells brilliant. Right, here we go. Lather number two. I'm just going to clean this handle off just a little bit. I don't want to be dropping it. There we have it. Pass number two. I'm just going to stick with the same plate. This grip is absolutely fantastic. It's really, really grippy. It's, I mean, it's diamond knurled. I don't think it looks as pretty. I don't think it, the actual knurling itself, come on, looks as refined as the carve. 
but it is very very grippy to hold which is nice I know I'm not going to be dropping this razor anytime soon do you know something I totally missed that part of my there we go cross the grain a very nice shaver and that's really close so far Right, cross the green the other way. Definitely got a lot of feedback. Way more the calf. A little bit around my lips, I think, and then I'm finished, really. I don't chase a BBS shave, you guys know that. God, I've just got to weep it down here after all that.
Well, I'm actually very impressed with that razor. You know, I've got one weeper there, which I think I got from shaving a part of my neck where there wasn't really any ladder at all. Just leave it a little bit, see if I get any creepers popping out while I'm rinsing the brush out. Oh, I've got one right there. But overall, the first time shaved with a 0.8 blade gap, which is slightly less than the carved C plate. This knot is so much nicer to clean out than the, the really, really dense rhodium that I've got. This isn't quite as dense, I don't think, or maybe it is. Maybe it's the smaller size that throws me out. This is a 25mm, the 28 being my largest. To be honest with you, I don't think there's one, one here. That's okay. Come off that. There's only. I don't think I would go bigger than a 25 now. Especially with a natural hair knot. With a synthetic, massive knots can be a benefit. Yeah, I've got one weeper there, and that's, that's, a, that's a good weeper, that one. In fact, that's so good, I'm just going to whack it with the stick and it's done. Here comes the old styptic. Surprising that there's no sting, <laughs> which is really strange. I mean, it probably shows how smooth the shave was actually. Let's set that to the side. There we have it. What a shave! I am going to finish off with Barrister and Man diamond aftershave. This was a gift or well, sort of part of a trade from Marion the Barbarian. Thanks very much mate for sending me this. I've never had this before, diamond. I've always loved the scent of the soap. I've never got the splash. You can't get it in Australia anymore. And it's, I don't know what it's going to smell like on the skin but it smells lovely. It actually smells more like a cologne out of the bottle. So give this a good splosh. Well, there's alcohol in this, I know there is. The sting is near non-existent, <laughs> which is really, really impressive. That, that's, that's definitely down to the, the comfort and the smoothness and the, and the quality of the razor, really. I've never used this razor before. I've literally pulled it out of the box today, shaved with it for the first time now. So this is my first impressions video. And my first impressions are, it's a very, very, very good razor. Look, I'm not going to start beating on about going buy one and all that stuff. That's entirely up to you guys. You do, I just use stuff to let you see it being used and give you my impressions on it. It's well built, solid stainless. It's not quite as refined in terms of the handle as the carve or you know timeless and things like that that are very very well and made and refined. I do like the low profile head. I'm not a massive fan of the tabs, but that doesn't really bother me. I'd rather the tabs were covered. I don't know why they didn't. They had the opportunity. The shape of this top cap. Would have been perfect to just extend it a little bit and just curve it over the top but they went with this and that is exactly that's their prerogative and i'm sure this says made in russia serial number number 19 and blade gaps over there 0 0.80 it's a great razor it's a great shaver and with that blade in it it's worked damn near flawlessly for me i mean that's a I mean, it never looks like I've actually had a shave when I look, when I look in the mirror. And I know the 4K camera <laughs> picks it up even more, but I'm really happy with that. I mean, given the, the minimal amount of redness on my neck, which once again, the camera picks up, but in the mirror, it looks great. I know in 10 minutes time, my neck's going to look really, really good, which is just a massive bonus. So the soap performed beautifully. Barrister and Man Diamond, great scent, great performance. It is the glissant base, I believe, and it worked like a champion. 25mm rhodium knot in my strike gold shave handle made by Matt Martin who used to be brush guy but he now makes brushes for strike gold shave and west coast shaving and he's loving life at the moment as far as I'm aware oh, 
it really scents your brushes as well this one if you're not a fan of the scent don't use it in a good brush that you want to keep the smell out of star of the shave that's the suffolk shave i would have said the star of the shave the home like calibri really really good quality razor and the shave off it is exceptional i'm very very happy with it beautiful and that for me it's not bbs but that's damn near close for me that's 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 better than a damn fine shave for me given how well i can shave and with that oh sorry i did finish with this as well from marrying the barbarian diamond aftershave with that i'm going to leave you guys to it this is long enough i think i'm about 25 minutes which is pretty good for me hopefully i'll get another few videos in before i go to the doctors next week and then i'll give you an update as to how my return to work forms went and we'll go from there stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive and i'll catch you guys next time cheers